Coast J Complex still has a ton of secrets that people do not know about. I'm going to show you all of those in this video, including how you can kill a Rhino and Sniper very, very easily and even open a secure buy station if you're trying to do that for the Serpentine camo. You're going to need a Ghost Vest, a Scuba Mask, and I would recommend running the KV Broadside. You can use the Pyros. I do have a guide for taking them out easily on this channel as well. Now, depending on where you spawn in Almazra, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I'd recommend getting away from the spawn point as quickly as you can, get a vehicle, and then you're going to want to head up to the north, which is the barracks entrance. Once you're in the barracks entrance, it is underwater, and you're going to want to be searching for a key called the barracks A key. Now, it's in this first area on the right. It could spawn in any of these rooms where the beds are, so keep searching for it, and then you should find it eventually. You're going to come back out of there, and keep swimming through through the rest of this section until you get to the point where the guards are now when you get to that point that's where the checklist is for the secure buy station so make sure you read that if you want to know what ingredients that you're going to need for doing the rest of that buy station now to get the next piece of this bit done you're going to want to throw a semtex on the wall and go into this area now when you're swimming under this area the key could be in a few different rooms it could be in this one which i'm showing you right now or it could be further along. Now there are about five or six rooms that are all in a row on this side and the key could be in any of these rooms. So you're gonna have to make sure you search each one of these rooms very, very carefully until you find the barracks key. B. Once you have both of these keys, you can continue on like normal. So you'll come back out of the water, you'll follow it through, watch out for the lasers, and then you'll keep swimming as if you were going to get to the end of the exit. But when you jump down, you're gonna turn right. Once you turn right, you'll go through two doors, you'll go through another door past a fuel rod, and it will take you into a different area which has a secret exit. On the way through this different area, there is a table which you can open, and it nearly always has some ultra rare items for the secure buy station. Once you get through, make sure you pick up any spare self revives, because if you're solo, you might need them, and you can use the two keys to open this secret entrance. That will lead you straight into factory admin. Be very careful, there will be a lot of bots once you get through this part. There are a few little rooms on the way through that you can search for some more rare items, and then you'll be inside. You'll be able to go up the steps from here. There is a ladder that you can just go up, which will take you straight through to on top of the buy station, and then you can easily get to the secure buy station and the regular buy station. From there, you'll want to go back up the steps, go all the way around, and you'll get to the bit where you could walk all the way regular through to the Rhino and Sniper. However, there is an actually easier way to go through that won't trigger all the bots, as if you pick up this alternate exit key, work your way back, and then there is a green door that you can go through, you can open that, and it will take you into the secret rhino area. Once you go through into the secret rhino area, you can basically drop down, and you're going to run up on the rhino, and you're going to catch him by surprise. Now, you can kill him with a bomb drone if you have two of them spare. I only had one, so I used shock charges to get him and then use the KV broadside. Be careful though, if you don't get close enough, a full clip of the KV broadside is not going to kill him. So don't make the mistake that I made. Make sure you do get close enough and then you can take him out pretty easily. Once you've taken him out, if you're trying to do the 60 second mission for killing the sniper, you're going to want to quickly activate the bomb drone and then the sniper is always going to be waiting around the first corner once you go up the stairs. So you can actually fly the bomb drone exactly to where he is. You'll know it's him because he'll have a red laser pointing out and then you can set it off and it will kill him instantly. When you go up to check on the sniper, be very careful. Don't make the mistake that I did. You can use a DDoS on the traps, but the first trap is actually a frag grenade trap. So you will still blow it up even if you use the DDoS. You can of course use your NVG goggles if you want to see where the lasers are and it will help when you are trying to disable traps. You'll be able to pick up the secure room key off the sniper and that will obviously unlock the weapons case which you can get if you still need that. You could take a sniper rifle which is a pretty good blueprint as well. Now for a speedy exit if you have the L2 restricted card you can go out one of those exits but if you don't what you can actually do is work your way back through factory admin. Now if you work your way back through factory admin the way that you would have come in if you came through the main entrance of the complex you can open that door 
without a key and it will take you back into the chemical plant. From there, it's very easy to find an exfil and then you can get out of there solo. That is honestly the easiest method. I get in and out very easily on that. Let me know in the comments what you think of it.